What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. Here's a Legacy Cube draft for you. Coming right up. Michael B. actually had to go to the hospital today. We had a little adventure. Michael B. went to the hospital. Bobby Butters back from the hospital. Again, pro tip for the stream. Whatever you do, try not to pinch your sciatic nerve. And I'm going to have... Oh. It's really, really painful. I'm going to have this York peppermint patty as I feel the sensation. As in, I've never felt more pain in my life. Oh, there's an upheaval, but there's also a Grim Monolith and a Worn Power Stone in the same pack. That's awkward. Oh, my buddy Tim Trey, Tim Traham. He he wants to do a stipulation with Marari's Wake. What's the stip? Uh Tim says, uh, um, make sure Marari's Wake is highlighted. Uh, my cube step is this must take Marari's wake then just emphasis on splashing things like removal of wraths and planeswalkers a few X spells would be nice like splashing sphinxes rev or casting a huge bonfire the win cons are up to you could just be casting Eldrazi or casting a huge manips <laughs> <laughs> alright so actually we're going to add that as the step and this is perfect That's perfect. Wow, that works out fantastically. And I kind of want... We want as much fixing as we can get, right? Aramis is a white fixer. Then again, Stomping Ground is fixing for green. It's probably Aaron Mesa. Aaron Mesa leaves us way more open. Yeah. I do like an opposition here, but... We're going to do... We're going to do... We're going to wake it. We're going to be waking it. Waking and bacon, as the kids say. Yeah, let's take Aaron Mesa. And ideally, the Stomping Ground comes back. That would be pretty sweet. I think Battlement is actually a little more resilient than Devoted Druid. We can also take Fight with Fire and then kick it. That seems pretty cool. We can also take Karn. We can also take Blood Crypt. We can get it with Arid Mesa. Um, hmm. What did you just say to me? I'd probably just take one of the ramp guys. Like this guy? Yeah. What about this guy? Or that guy. But what about this guy? I like this because you can get two mana out of it. I like this because it doesn't die to any two or three damage burn spells. So yeah. I'm going to go with Overgrown Battlement here. I think having it survive. Oh, Savannah seems great. Yeah, we can get it with Air Mesa too. Oh, yeah, that's real nice. That's like the perfect land. Oh, good times. Thank you. All right. Why, Johnny? Why? Thanks so much for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. Welcome. Oh, Flooded Strand is nice. Also good Savannah. Yeah, that's pretty good. Volcanic Island, also pretty sweet, but I'm going to stick with this Fetchy McFetcherson. Happy birthday, Mike. Happy birthday, Bobby Butters. Thank you. <laughs> oh, man. Can you do 60 less than your asking price of your under-costed device? Hedron Archive and Farseek, both pretty good. Farseek's probably pretty good. Uh, I think it's far, probably Farseek over Hedron Archive. Yeah, we're base green, so. And if we find, like, big stuff, I really want to pick up the big stuff. Ooh, Breeding Pool and a Bayou? Oh, boy. Breeding Pool is... Better. What? I don't know which one's better. Well, Breeding Pool we can get with Flood Strand, which gets us blue, green, and white. I guess Savannah also gets that. Yeah, not, we don't have any black incentives yet. And, like, blue is generally more powerful, so... I can agree with that. We'll take the Breeding Pool. 
Hollowed fountain? Oh, man. Yeah, that's... that's yeah, just, just keep taking the lands. I'm going to keep taking the lands because just because... There wasn't anything oh, powerful. Dragon Lord Tarka, though. That's a pretty good payoff. That is a... I also like Green Warden here a lot, too. Let's just get back. Dragon Lord's pretty hard to deal with, actually. It's just an 8-8. Eight, eight. I always forget that it's an 8-8 eight, eight because it deals 5 damage and it costs 7 mana, so there's no real... It just doesn't make that much sense that it's... Um, it also has Trample, which is pretty nuts. Carney T. Ooze seems like it could be good with, with Wake. You could just make a million oozes. That's probably better than Carnage Tyrant, right? No, Carney T is pretty good. This card's been impressive every time I play it. Okay. Do you disagree? They're both really good. I, I could go either way. I want to take this just because with... Oh, a Lumbering Falls. All right. Sure. Keep the manas rolling. The Stomping Ground did not come back, unfortunately. Jump. I like Beast Whisper. Yeah, it's a decent card. They don't kill it. It's pretty good. Also, turn three Beast Whisper is a thing. Mm, Bane Slayer? Probably Bane Slayer, right? Or it could be Journey. Any, any of these cards are, are good options, I think. I mean, there's so many times when Bane Slayer's just like, well, can't beat that. Yeah, I agree with that. Ooh, I like a Fumigate. Like, it still passes the old test. Like, if you can't kill a Bane Slayer, you, you like, lose the game. Yeah. Oh, Tropical Island is nice. Raging Ravine is nice. Also an Arbiter Elf, which is kind of nice. Arbiter Elf? Arbor Elf, rather. <laughs> He's the Arbiter, you see. Chop's nice, but we don't have any blue cards yet. We so. have no blue cards yet. I mean, our mana base is looking, looking spicy, though. You could just take Raging Ravine. Could take Chalice or Bogard and Hellkite, too. I think the Hellcat will wheel. I think we take the Raging Ravine. I think you're actually right about that. I think this will wheel. We could also take Arbor Elf. It's close. Oh, yeah. I got excited about this because I'm like, ooh, big seven mana spell, but then I'm like, oh, but then we just lose our Mirari's Wake. The Rampant Growth. Yeah, I guess it's Rampant Growth here. That seems fine. It's unexciting, but fine. There we go. That's what we're talking about. No beats. Yeah, I had to go back to the hospital because, like, when I woke up, my leg pain was just, like, 10 out of 10. Like, like I couldn't do a lot of basic functions of being a human. Like, going to the bathroom was hard and stuff. Um, so, like, I was just, like, I just came to Frank's room and I was like, dude, can you take me to the hospital? <laughs> it's real bad. So, they gave me a shot of an anti-inflammatory medicine. And they hooked me up with some stronger pain meds. Do you want Emrakul to be working on so. on here? Uh, I like Emrakul better. I do too, actually. Raging Balos. Oh, we can go Marshall Coup. Marari's Wake into Marshall Coup, which is pretty nuts. Yeah, I like that. Like Marari's Wake, because all the guys get plus one, plus one as well. That seems insane. Yeah, so it makes two twos. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's a good, that's a nice pickup there. Duplicant? Yeah, duplicant. Duplicant's oh, Court of Calling is also nice with Mari's Wake. So is Devil's Play. Oh, that's true. Jeez. Those are 11 cards. Three are coming back. Anyway. Seichi, what's going on? Been busy with my new job. and Normally I'm deep asleep around this time, so it's cool to catch you. I'm glad your new job's going well. Oh, uh, okay. So it's one of the two X spells. This is any creature, right? So we can actually spend like... Yeah, Angel. Angel's not doing it for me, though. I think we can get another. I think we can get like a like a banefire or a bonfire effect. I kind of like cord just to be able to search for like a dragon lord Tarker or something. I'm gonna go with the cord. All right. Um, Sphinx's rev. Wow, we're getting like all the cards that Tim wanted. That's pretty sweet. Double blue, my dude. Pretty easy splash for us actually. That's not, well, I mean, we have the all the blue lands. We right, have like I mean. Hollowed Fountain, Lumbering Falls, Breeding Pool, Flooded Strand, 
Does Arid Mesa get a white one? Yeah, because we have Hollow Fountain. We already have five. I banged up a side door in a new car with less than 150 miles on the clock, so... Well, that's no good. <laughs> that's no good. Uh, Triple Green's not challenging with Marari's Wake, though, right? Like, I mean, you just have two forests. Two green sources. Woodfall Primus. That's my boy. Yeah, I'll never pass a Woodfall Primus. It's so dumb. No, I will. But, I mean, it's rare. Triple X spells, Emrakul, Woodfall Primus, Dragonlord Target. These are some decent payoffs here. I also like that a lot of our ramp right now is non-creature. So that I feel Thank better you. about playing Fumigate and stuff. Mike the Mailman, thanks so much for the reset, buddy. Welcome back. Avenger? Mind Slaver? Star of Extinction is actually pretty sweet in this deck. Yeah. Actually, Star of Extinction. This could be the Star of Extinction deck for sure. Oh, yeah. That's awesome. Uh, I was actually... Oh, Bogarden Hellkite and Primal Command? I don't think we need Heart Hellkite and... I think I kind of just want the Primal Command. Or like a Magma Jet. Yeah, I'm going to be honest. I don't like Cord that much. It's super expensive to get anything. Oh, fine. Yeah, I'll just take Primal Command here. A lot of five drops, though. We might want something early just to kill. Magma Jet. Or Banishing Light. Banishing Light's pretty good, too. Yeah, Banishing Light's better. Yeah, let's take Banishing Light. I would not mind a red f land to fetch with. Eh, nothing great here. Parallax Wave could actually be pretty good. If we exile our creatures, like Woodfall or Dragonlord or Biogenic Ooze, we actually get some perks here. We'll try. It slows down the game. Yeah, that's also nice. Sorry. I'll just the land here. Wrath of God? Uh, we already have a Fumigate. The land's pretty nice here. We need Red Fixing. Uh, Knight of Autumn is awesome and definitely main deckable. That is yeah. really good. Duplicant? Sure. Yeah, I'd play that. Thrun? Sure. We are four color, no black right now. This deck looks sweet. The only problem I think we're going to have with this deck is like, we really need to hit awake. Hmm. I like Saul in here. Yeah, that's solid. Harmonize. <laughs> Harmonize. Oblivion Stone's pretty good, too. It just kills our wake, though. It kills all our creatures. Oh, we also have Martial Coup, which is another uh, Wrath effect, which is pretty sweet. I just want to be able to ramp more. I want to make sure we hit enough ramp. Yeah, I, I don't think it's this. It's choice. not this, this, or this, or this. It's not yeah, this. Triple black, no way. Day of Judgment is good. Hour of Devastation is not going to be played by us. This is four blue. Which is fine with Marari's Wake, actually. Uh, I don't think it's Oblivion Stone. Yeah, I just think it's I think just think it's solemn here. Oof. We have zero planeswalkers. Yep. Is it the time? I think it's the time. Also, there's a Sylvan Library in here, which is also pretty sweet. Immortal Sun or Sylvan Library? I think the Sun will table. I think no one respects that card. I think that's true, actually. I think Sylvan Library is probably just better. Ooh, Rootbound Crag. I like that a lot. Just a bad lands, though, which is fetchable red land. But we're not playing black. So well, yeah, it's only yeah. fetchable if Howard Mesa, which which we can already fetch a mountain with. Yeah, okay. 
I think it's just Rupert Crumb. Yeah. Zealous Conscript's also good. I think we're having enough five drops, though. Oh, Wooded Foothills is great here. Yeah, that's really solid. We're not really missing out too much. I like Splinter Twin, but someone else can have it, I guess. Wooded Foothills Walking is fantastic. Walking would be nice, too. But... Wooded Foothills got Breeding Pool, Savannah, um, Mountain. Bonfire. B -b 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 Bonfire. Unstable Bear. Thank you so much for the bits. Really appreciate it, buddy. Have you seen Ilhar get? Which one is that? Is that the boar? Is that the one you were just talking about? The only thing I don't like about that card is that uh, it doesn't actually... Like, if you put an Emrakul into play, it doesn't trigger Annihilator. Because it puts it into play attacking, and Annihilator is a trigger that happens as it attacks. So I think it's either Cast Out or Bonfire. I think it's either Cast Out or Brontodon. Bronton is just a big dude. I do like cast out a lot though. I think it's cast out. I don't like having to to miracle this, and we already have Marshall Coup and Star of Extinction. This is a late underground sea, which makes me really sad. Beast within, that's your favorite. Batter Skull is pretty good too. Batter Skull is pretty good. We already have Bane Slayer though. I like Beast of Them because it kills everything. Sure. Yeah. How are you going to... I said sure. Yeah, but you are you were also like, I guess. Colonnade's pretty good here. Colonnade is pretty good here. So is Mana Confluence and Bloodbraid Elf. Yeah, actually, Mana Confluence is probably where we want to be. I mean, we're playing four colors. I don't, I don't like the life loss there, but... Don't be a baby. We got Bane Slayer. Hmm. Alright. Oh, girl. Sure. Double Angels that deck. Calstick Rhythm. I feel like we're a Rhythm deck, though. We don't have that many creatures. Thoughts on Shazam? It was alright. I, so... I have a few issues with, with Shazam, right? Like, I don't know how much you want me to spoil... I'm not going to go see it, so. <laughs> so, oh, Day of Judgment seems real good here. I'll probably just watch it when it comes out on Netflix or some shit, so you can, you can spoil whatever you want. Actually, I like Lightning Helix. We don't have any, like, burn here. So, one of my main issues with, with Shazam was that, like, Zachary Levi and the kid who played Billy Batson, like, when he's Shazam and when he's Billy, Billy Batson, are two completely different characters. They act completely differently. It does not seem like the same character. Uh, another issue I had was that the character who plays Billy Batson, the actor, Billy Batson's character in the movie is extremely obnoxious. Like, I feel like I was an hour and a half in the movie and I was like, all right, can you stop being like a kind of an annoying shitbag? Like, it's That's the kid, right? Like, yeah, like still, you're still being kind of a dick. Like, why were you like, why were you chosen? Mortal Sun did come back. Told you. People got no respect, man. Condemn is actually pretty sweet. Fine removal. Ballista. Anger is nice. Oh, Ballista? Oh, Ballista because oh, we got... Yeah, I think we main deck Ballista. Interesting. This is like one of the most bust things you can do with sinkhole mana. Also, I had a real problem with Savannah being the villain. Like, it doesn't feel like... Like, me and my friend David watched it, and we kind of felt like it was built, like the script was written for Black Adam to be the villain. But then it ends up being Dr. Savannah, and you're like, this is kind of weird. I don't even know who that is. It's a, he's an old, like, 1960s, 70s, 50s. He's like a really old Captain Marvel villain. Captain Marvel meaning Shazam. Right. Because that's not confusing enough. <laughs> right. I think we definitely play Ballista. This is our only blue card. Interesting. And we're still going to play it because it's gas, but we have to make cuts here. We have to make... I think we can cut Star. Yeah. Probably cut Parallax away from the main. We have Fumigate. Sure. Cut Thrun. Okay, now we're good. I really want that Ballista. All right, well, let's figure out what we're putting in for it. Okay. Um, how many ramp spells do we have? Rampant Growth, Overgrown Battlement, Farseek, 
I don't know if we want Beast Whisper with 11 creatures. Yeah. I can see cutting Beast Whisper and putting in Walking Ballista. Yeah, I like that. Let's do it. Yeah, this seems good. All right. This deck seems ridiculous. Let's sort by color. So we're mostly green. So what's our red? We have like one Lightning Helix and one Dragon Lord Targa for red. That's interesting. Mm -hmm. I guess we get to attack with Raging Green. Uh, okay, so green we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's go to 11 just for just for fun these red we have uh can we search out any red lands no so we want to play at least one mountain hmm yeah i guess so let's stay at 10 here one two yeah we want to play one mountain because of far seeks and stuff too so that's that right. makes sense so now we have one two uh three Four, five, six. Yeah, that seems fine for two red cards. Yeah. Um, blue, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. White, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We can probably go down to eight for the white. Oh, we get another white. Sweet. All right. Let's do it. Let's do it. This deck looks crazy. Yeah, please never have DC make a Fantastic Four movie. I was, I would cry. I mean, like, don't don't get me wrong. Shazam was enjoyable. It was fun to watch, but like, it definitely has some problems that I I, I already like. I expect to be ironed out from. Why is your hand blacked out? I don't know. It's. <laughs> Because I can't play anything, I guess. Why is it all gray? Yeah, this hand's great. Like, it just has some problems that I would expect it to be uh, to be taken care of by now based on Marvel, the MCU. What are we getting? Probably just another... Yeah, maybe we'll just get white here. I don't think it matters. Oh, the new Mulligan rules on MTGO. That's right. I almost forgot about that. Oh, they're doing the Paris thing? The London thing. Right. Paris, London. We can tell the difference. So what we can do is we can play a land, keep up cast out. Let's do that. So if they play something, we cast it out, and then we play Marari's Wake into an empty board. Yep, that guy's going to go. Yeah, it ramps them to like six next turn if they have a land. Yeah, I don't need no turn next turn. Primeval Titan, just don't have Rex Sage, I guess. Well, that's pretty good. You get a green. Let's get a Savannah. What did you say about a green? You don't want to wake first. I am wake. Oh, that's what I was doing. I meant to wake first. Dang it. We'll get it right. Skeletal Cat, thank you so much. Been singing Crossfire all day and it's Frank's fault. Crossfire! Don't have a reclamation sage, Crossfire. That ain't a wreck sage. Come on, give me something good. Uh, I accept. I think we can play Angel and that, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. Angario. Mangario. Flood Strand seems pretty, or uh, Sylvan Library seems pretty good when you get to uh, cast every single card you find. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Tell them to scoop. Oh, your natural ordering, huh? Like I even care. Mm, well, depending on what it is, we. That's what you what? <laughs> a tireless tracker? Oh well, that's not as impressive as I would that's expect. That's also really bad too because now it takes him like he could save up his wolves to kill our bane slayer, and now he can't do that, like within a reasonable amount of time. 
Oh wow, Marshall Q's sick. I'm gonna put both of these back. And then we're just gonna shuffle them away. Seems good. You can probably tackle the Rager too. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Yeah, hey, we can get a breeding pool, so then we can activate both next turn. I guess we could have activated both. Nah, yeah, we could have. We could use this for green. Oh, it's also a 5-5, five five, so it kills both of them. Wow, they just yeah, take 11 here? Jeez. Well, that's interesting, because they natural ordered, so that means they don't have, like, Woodfall Primus. They don't have Rex Sage. They don't have Knight of Autumn. Yeah, those are Like, really do they just have nothing that would kill our Mirari's Wake? Because they could have gotten any green creature that kills Mirari's Wake. Acidic Slime. Okay, this is a very strange game. Yeah, that's weird. Tireless Tracker? That's... It's not even worth it, man. That's a weird choice, my dude. I'm just going to submit. Yeah. I think your library is in alphabetical order when you search, so Tireless Tracker would be near what? Maybe... Woodfall Primus, maybe? I'm going to keep this just because it's Sylvan Library. Forest. Damn it. So close. A 7 drop is like a forest. Is it? Oh, it could have been Terastodon. Yeah, they could have just misclicked and hit Tireless Tracker instead of Terastodon. That is a thing. Oh, it's your boy. I am Evil Titan. Was that in your hand last time? No, it's still pretty scary. We'll just have we'll just have an ancient tomb on the top, <laughs> and then we'll cast it out. Yikes! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Well, we're going to take six here, and they're going to get a million lands, but ideally they can't do anything with it, right? Uh, they call it the London Mulligan Rule because the all Mulligan Rules are named after the event they first premiered at. The London Mulligan Rule, the first paper event, is going to be the London Mythic Championship in London. So that is why it's called the London Mulligan. I think we're dead. We have a Fumigate in hand, which is really sad. Yeah, but they got eight on board. Well, if we get a land here, it's fine. Yeah, see, we're fine. Say what problem is. I guess they have three, four, five on board. We go to two. Ugh, this is a gross match. Jade Light Ranger and a Shaman. Come on, give me one land so I can fumigate here. Daddy needs to fumigate. Oh, Daddy did it. Daddy did it. Do, 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 probably a Savannah too. And we gain four. That's nice. Well, three because of. Well, sure. All right, we're doing it. Mitch, tell Gavin I said hi. 
Or or Gavin, hi. <laughs> I'll say hi myself. I don't need your help. Don't play anything. No. Oh, that's really good. Yeah, I was really hoping to just play a guy and be able to block, but apparently their last card is a 6-6 six, six that makes a 4-4. Four, four. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, they're going to attack us for 3. Seems good. Not actually sure what we could draw here that would be good. Well, that would have been good if there was another... If we had six lands. Exile this guy, we have a six six block, we block here, we take one, two, three, four, five, we still die. Okay. We go to three if we play Lyra, we block here. We take one but gain five, so we go to eight. The problem is it doesn't get us any further. Yeah, I don't think we have any other plays, right? Right, but I don't know if it does I don't know if it's just better to scoop here. Yeah, I don't know how we navigate this game after that. Yeah, the problem is we just don't we haven't just we just missed we need land to hit a land there, yeah. We need to basically marshal coup. I don't mind condemn here actually. Over lightning helix maybe. Or maybe keep both. Just go to forty one. I'm okay with it. Oh, they have a man land too, yeah, but I guess we were dead anyway. Oh, uh, they're called creature land nerds. Uh I'll keep this hand. If we hit a blue we're in our green we're in good shape. We still have three lands, so. In before Raging Arena off the top. <laughs> that's, that's hilarious. Crutch Jr. I will definitely be streaming on Friday. Saturday, I'm not sure. Oh my god, are you serious? We have 10 green sources in the deck. That's literally 1 in 3 to have a green source. And we're just going to lose because they have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, yeah, 7 mana. Play land in prime time here. <sighs> Instead of turn 2, turn 3. I mean, we could have mulliganed. Bill Brown, I did get your deck list. I did get your deck list. It is in the queue. Usually it takes me a little longer to get the deck list once there's the cube up because it's so rarely up. So as long as you're okay with that. Alright, that's fine. God, my kingdom for a day of judgment. I knew we should have taken that day of judgment. This is so stupid, man. <laughs> Like, this is all of, all of the planes in our deck. We have two two to three planes in our deck. I think this is I think we have two. Like this is both planes. This is the only island in our deck. This is the only mountain in our deck. Like I guess if we draw Fumigate, we're in an okay spot. I guess. This is such a stupid. This, this is ridiculous. The attacks for like 11 here? Uh, as a control player, I don't think controls for magic. Magic players hate magic. I actually love magic and I play control. Yep, that's go to two. Fumigate one time. Beast with another fucking green card. Cool. Awesome. Nice deck. I guess 10 green sources isn't enough. I guess you should probably. Uh, I love that you make me feel better about my luck. Yeah, well, someone has to. Glad to take the hits out here for you guys. Like, I think it's just as annoying to play against control and get everything countered as it is to play against mono red and just have no chance of winning. Like, they're both equally miserable. Mike's a big kid. Look what he can do. Mike can wear big kid pants, too. And Mike can pull them off. Sure. Alright, I just heard some noises coming from your direction. Yeah, I'm a bit hungry. Well, what have you had to eat today? Nothing. Nothing. Exactly. 
Mike and I had to go to the uh, go to the emergency room today. Mike had a heart attack. Not quite. A heart attack. My back's fine. It was a uh, it's my sciatic nerve that got pinched, so now it's pain in the leg. Real bad. But uh, these drugs they gave me seem to have finally taken the edge off. So, I think we're good. Yeah, Mike was too handsome and I couldn't handle it. I was like, guys, I need to go to the emergency room. I know it seems like Mike probably has to, but it's really me. Sure. A lantern control is a special kind of miserable. It's not like a normal control deck. Yeah, that's not that's more like a combo deck. Feels bad to play this for two. And when I think control deck, I don't really think about Lantern control because it's like a weird stack. It's kind of like a weird stack deck. Like you, you just don't get to do anything at all. Yeah, I don't consider lantern control typical control. Like if I'm sitting against a control player and they're playing like Esper control, that's completely different than like lantern control or like the uh, even like the um like the control decks with ensnaring bridge in modern. You know that meme for the kid is from Simpsons who says I'm in danger. Yeah, the Ralph Wiggum. Yeah, we're that kid right now. <laughs> yeah, it's not good. Yeah, we're going to bring in the Condemn for sure. We're going to bring in uh, everything else in our deck. Oh, look at Rampant Growth. I think we're dead. The Ballista, shoot. It's not even worth it. Goblin Guide. Take a million. Five. Um. Engine Explosives? It just seems too slow. Really? Maybe. I don't know. We have Baneslayer and Lyra and Knight of Autumn. I feel like our deck should actually be pretty well positioned. Take out the Emrakul. Take out the Woodfall Primus. Bring, Bring him. him. Yep. Yeah, it's probably fine. I do kind of like, meh. Yeah, this is like a lot of removal and a lot of things. We give a lot of interaction here. I just, I, we have to just draw it. Yes, I would love to play first. Is this going to be another one of those situations? We can actually cycle cast out, I guess. I keep forgetting we can just take advantage of this mulligan rule and ship our worst card. Yeah, we're probably cycling cast out because we want to... We want to hit a green. I mean, if they play Goblin Guide, we're probably just condemning it. Correction, we will condemn it. <laughs> Hopefully we'll reveal Force for us first. Oh, they didn't do anything. Cool. One in ten to hit a green source. What type of pasta should I cook up tonight? I already have the sauce made. Um, I'm a big penne fan. It's like a ziti, but oh, that was a good draw too. It's like ziti, but it has more texture to hold sauce. Oh, the old the old big fan after I'm down a game. Oh, burst lightning to the face. That's nice. 
Okay, this is this is looking good. We're looking at, oh. Brrr. Oh, oh no, we're stuck. All right, well, we have Helix and Condemn, so. Hands of a Maziti. <laughs> what is, I don't even know. I don't know what that means. And they're going hard. They are going hard. I don't want a lightning helix here, but I also... Well, we have nothing to do next turn, so... Okay, good. Put you on top. Put you on top. Sacred added Mesa. So we can get a Savannah with this guy. And then we should be able to draw another land for this Bane Solario. Pretty good. That is pretty good. I will take dose. I'm probably just gonna lightning helix that. Um, we want a second green for biogenic ooze. I don't think we need the blue here. I'm just gonna get the savannah. We only have Sphinx's Rev. Oh, and we found a green anyway. But we really want a fifth land here. We found it. Put on top. Put on top. Play you. Hands off of Maziti. Who's touching Maziti? What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you, Kerwit? Also, tomorrow I get a package from Kerwit, a nice Japanese package with a bunch of weird stuff he said. He also said there's something in there that will benefit the stream. And considering Kerwit bought these glasses for the stream and like all the and the uh, the green screen hood, I feel like he might know a bit. Oh wow. Oh what? I'm sorry, you're playing you're giving me a chance to just eat this guy and gain five? Oh that's Deal. Seems, that seems great. I got it the first strike, huh? You probably want to play this guy post combat, would be my guess. Oh, did they forget? Maybe they forgot about first strike, and they were like, "No, because even Chandra can't even deal four here." Oh, they did forget about first strike because they were probably like, "Okay, he'll take. She'll take one from the goblin, and then I'll finish it off with the flame tongue kavu." But nope. Um, put both of these on top. We'll play this guy. Probably just want to ooze here. Because I don't think Mari's Wake is doing any, any favors right now. And I'll definitely kill Chandra when you have two cards and we go up to 24. A deal. I I'm pretty sure I would trade with both of these. Margarete. Brendan the Coco. Or we could block like this. Yeah, I think we could take four here and keep our ooze alive. Yeah, Mirari's Waking Ooze seems pretty nuts. Like, you have two cards in hand. The odds of those two cards being able to kill this Bane Slayer seem pretty low. What just happened? Oh, they just dealt a six? Interesting. Oh, all right. Well, that'll do. That will do. What would we have drawn? Walking Burlista. I guess we're fine. Shut up and take my money. Oh, Hodgeglossy, making spaghetti before going into my 10 hour plus night. Just want to show some love and support. Thank you for always making me. Hodgeglossy, thanks so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. You are a good dude. Oh, actually, that was not Hodgeglossy. That was a different James. That was Crutch Jr. I believe. Let me know if that was Crutch Jr. Uh, I'm going to keep this because of the rampant growth. 
Crutch Jr., thank you so much, buddy. You are awesome. You are also awesome. I didn't know you as James, actually. Now I do. Now I do. Give us a white land. Give me an ins inspiring vent. Oh. Oh, my God. Sad. Dang it. So we got a discard now? It's the worst, man. Probably just got cast out. Yeah. We already have Banishing Light and Condemn. Yeah, I actually like the fact that I know like a lot of my subs by name. That's actually pretty sweet for me. Um, let's go to this and we could Farsookums or Ramping Growthums. What does Seek get? Seek can get Breeding Pool or Savannah. Mm -hmm. Or Hollowed Fountain. Let's far seek for a Hollowed Fountain. That seems better. Yes, we have no bananas. Next time we can keep up Condemn and play Raging Ravine and Rampant Growth. That seems like a lot of things. I wash myself with a rag on a stick. Shut up and take my money. The Pope donated a dollar. Hey, the Pope here. Just wanted to stop by and say, keep up the dank memes. Really helps keep me going when having to deal with all these jerk criminal cardinals. Man. Pope. Thanks, you, Pope. You got it, buddy. Oh, we're in the upkeep? I thought we were already because this is so much land. And all, we're, we're like drawing all the lands that deal us damage. It's really sad. Um... Just gonna get planes, play Raging Green, pass with Condemn up, and then next turn we can Biogenic Ooze. More like Biogenic Snooze, am I right? No. He never sleeps. Man, the Pope. <laughs> you never sleep. Psh, I sleep all day. I he sleep all night. No, yeah, he does sleep all day and all night. That's true. I sleep until the break of dawn, and then I just keep sleeping. I see Mike B is back. That is good. Yeah, Mike B was uh, he was in rough shape. He had to get a bacchiotomy today. Yeah, they just took out my spinal cord. Now I'm jelly. He was born jelly. He'll die jelly. Oh, I need to send you a Pope hat for the stream. Oh my God. All right, well, we're at eight. I'm not. I'm not thrilled about it. Ghost of Colonel Sanders. Hey, Frank, I knew Hungry Howie. He was a tool. Eat chicken. Wow. Ghost oh of Colonel Sanders. That's incredible. What did you say? Nothing. Don't worry about it. I was worried about it. What did we get? Beast Within? Well. Don't sweat it, Mike. I sleep until noon myself. Well, when I work until 6 a.m. Yeah, well, Mike sleeps until 3, so it's different. Hey, oh. man, I got up today around two. Well, we know we're going to draw Beast Within, so that's unfortunate. I guess we're hoping they can't kill us from four. And then we don't go one, two with this deck. Well, if you kill my ooze here, that's good. That's nice. It's going to be a Shiv and Fire. It's not a Shiv and Fire. It is a... It is nothing. Hmm. It's nothing at all. A bold choice. The, the strategy was bold, Cotton. You'll get caught up in the mic fire. Okay, that's fine. That is a fine... Come on, Knight of Reclamation, Baneslayer, Lyra... wake it up can't wake up wake it up inside save me from this night can place for one i don't want to play a land and crack it dude like we just don't need extra lands in the future no, i just meant way to turn to cast this yeah but if they have any answer for this we're dead oh sure like if they kick if they draw land and kick like shiv and fire it's really bad it's also a 2-2, so we can remove the counter and still have a thing. 
And if they had a four damage spell last turn, they would have killed us, I presume. Smuggler's Chopperuski. Well, we have beast for them for that. Yeah, we have banishing light. We have a bunch of answers. We also get to untap with 12 mana, which is pretty nuts. Sphinx's Rev would be utterly insane. There's a lot of draws we have here. Lyra, Baneslayer, Sphinx's Rev, Knight of Autumn. It's not terrible. We can also put a buttload of counters on the Walking Ballista, too. Well, I definitely have to get rid of the copter. Favorite favorite Hamilton song? I think my favorite Hamilton song is... Um, uh, I don't know the name of it, but she's like, Look around, look around. How lucky we are to be alive right now. That's a good song. Um, yeah, I guess we're just banishing light, because we get to keep up... Uh, beast within an instant speed. Is that called Helpless? Is that the name of the song? Um, yeah, let's go to the next phase. We're just dodging four damage and burn, which I don't think they have, or else we would have been. Yeah, they already played their firecraft. And their char. Mishra's fac factorio. A Mishra factorio. <sighs> Obviously. Yep. Never don't have it. All right. Well, we're O2 now, so that's pretty fun. Always a pleasure to be in the O2 bracket because your opponents are very, very extremely lucky. But, uh, you know, that's how it goes. 40 pity points. Let's do it. Let's do it. So, like, what are our, what are the cards we would have had in that matchup that would have been uh, really good? Baneslayer, Fumigate, Lyra. Uh, even Fumigate would have put us way out of range of of a of a thing lightning helix knight of autumn uh sphinx's rev so we had at least six cards that were outs and we just couldn't draw one for five six turns so that's that seems unlucky but this hand seems really bad this hand seems good And now we can put the Emrakul back. Mulligan to five cards or keep six of these? I will keep. And we'll put Emrakul on the bottom. That's nice. That's real nice. That's nice. Ow, ow. I think we're getting a red with this one because we can't get a red with the other one and then we can get a Savannah with the next one. Because that lets us play Flooded Strand. Flooded, or uh, Lightning Helix, rather. And we'll get Savannah. Now we can farce. This is going like super slow for some reason. And we can get Hollowed Fountain. Holla, 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 holla. Rampant Growth lets us get a forest, so that's fine. Any steps in the pool? No, none currently. Uh, we have one from Danny B which is a Twitch Plays Magic stipulation, but I want to discuss it with him first to see how that would work best. But other than that, nothing. Well, I wish we had a third land drop here. We could Helix the Cobra. I'm Yeah, I'm definitely leaning towards that. Well, then that's special. Still no land, huh? Well, I think this is more important. It lets us hit land next turn. Yeah, the Stip's just eight, so they can't go in the pool for half an hour. That is just a myth. That's a weird myth, too. Ooh, 
coercive portal. Yeah, we're banishing like that for sure. Oh wow, welcome back, Emrakul. Welcome back. Um, put on top, pay four. Look around, look around. Elk Tears, what's going on, buddy? Also, if you guys haven't done so, go definitely check out Cool Stuff Inc. today. We went to, uh, we now we went to. My article went up today. It is called Ranking the Sweepers in War of the Spark Standard. It is at uh, Cool Stuff Inc. And if you guys make any purchases, you can get 5% off with promo code FRANK5. So go do that. Go do those things. Uh, I'm going to put you on top. I'll put you on top of that. Play this. And we're probably just going to fumigate here. Y'all got any more of them fumigates? Alternatively, we could have rampant growth and then beast within when they equip and then killed everything with the beast. Killed everything with the fumigate that way. Uh, where does Urza's Runus Blast rank? Uh, near the bottom. Shut up and take my money. It's garbage. Let's try some reanimation fun. What's, uh, okay. I mean, I'll just, I'll just put it as reanimation fun and then we can, we can reanimate things. Hold on one second. I'm going to open a thing and I want to make sure it doesn't just pop up in the middle of the screen. Okay, good. Okay, Kretsch Jr. We're doing some reanimation fun. Uh, is there still time to reanimate this deck? I don't think so. But I don't think it's the deck's fault. I think our, our draws have been pretty poor. Like this. <laughs> With literal no, uh... Literal no lands. Um, put on top. Three card types, this guy costs ten. Nope, that ain't gonna do it. Let's do one of these jobbies. Let's get another green source. And did they reveal anything? What did they hit? Oh, Hornet Queen and a Mirari's Wake and a Forest. Seems decent. That's pretty good. That's pretty, pretty good. And we can only deal with this or the Mirari's Wake. So that's... That's rough. Um... Oh, Karn's Temporal Sundering seems insane after the, uh, after War of the Spark comes out. I mean, let's, even in this game, we, like, didn't hit our fourth land drop or our fifth land drop. Like, we were just struggling. We had to use Sylvan Library to dig deeper to find land drops. Like, what's our, it's turn seven. We've missed, we've only, we've missed, we've missed actually, we searched for two of these. So we've missed three land drops in a 17 land deck. Like, what can you do? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Mirari's Wake and Hornet Queen. Those are both really hard to deal with. Draw better. That's a good one. That's a good idea. I'll work Solid on that. Advice. I'll work on that. Do they mean to tap two to equip the Jitai, or are they actually using four? Yeah, I think they meant to equip. Yep, that's what I thought you meant to do. All right. We did shuffle, which is nice. Night of Autumn is great here. Oh, boy. Not bad. Oh, boy. Oh, God, did we kill the Mirai's Wake or the Jitai, though? Well, 
Well, they already have enough for Horn and Queen. All right, so what's the plan? We play this, we kill this. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think we put this on top, but we're, we're definitely getting... We could also just duplicate it. Oh, it's non-token, isn't it? Yeah. All right. Yeah, the, the coup can deal with the B, so... That's what I always say. The coup can deal with the Bs. Uh, destroy an artifact or an enchantment. Got, got rid of that. Okay. Jitte done. Belgium, what's going on? Good seeing Belgium. Hey, Belgium. It's good seeing ya. Whatever that means. I have no idea. Michael lives in the garbage can. You're like the Oscar, Oscar, Oscar the Grouch of magic streaming. Oscar, 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 <laughs> Oscar. You're gonna do it. I felt. I was like, here we come. Here we come. Here we come. Us, yeah. See, there you go. Look, there you go. Yeah, Osaref. Nailed it. Okay, so we know they have Hornet Queen and two other cards. Then we start wondering if Frank knows Belgium is a country. Wait. I was referring to the country. I was referring to the country of Belgium. Just like I call, uh, yep, I called, yep, Denmark. Oh, little Michael. You're a garbage man in a garbage can. They just killed the Knight of Autumn? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. The Marshall Coup is looking so good right now, my dude. Oh, my God. Please play the Beast, too. That's fine. That's just fine. One, two, three, four, five. Six. I mean, like, yeah, but now we have to Marshall Coup and the, the Bees don't die. I mean, we still have to, or else we're dead. We so. really do, yeah. I agree. God, I kind of wanted a land drop here, too. But I don't want to go to four, so. But then they make a 3-3, three, three, a 2-2, two, two, a 2-2, two, two, a 2-2, two, two, and a 2-2. Two, two. And then we die to that. Uh huh. So we have to draw Femi today, I guess. We could just duplicate this, which is actually pretty good, right? And we block here. These guys are going to be a lot smaller. This is a 4 4. We might have wanted to kill the Jitte or the, the Marari's Wake. I don't even know, man. Oh, oh, it's not, you don't get the, I keep forgetting it doesn't get the, it's not like getting the abilities of this. No, but I mean, you can still block one and we don't die, right? Well, this is a 3-3 three, three beast, or 4-4 four, four beast, and this is a 4-4 four, four ooze. So we take 8 and we block this 4-4. Four, four. So we actually have to Marshall Coup and then hope like one of the cards that we see is not. Uh, this is brutal. This is literally all we can do. Because Ooze would have died immediately and Duplicant would not have done anything, so. Man, are we going to go 03? The classic. Is this game one? Yeah. The old 11 power. I'm not dead yet. Oh, you're going to fumigate my Sylvan Light. Well, now we're just dead. Yeah, now we know we're drawing dead. Cool. Mm. 
Well, that was nice. Um, Wicker Ball Elder definitely comes in. They have a million targets. Um, probably take out. Immortal Sun would have been good there, too. <sighs> take out Walking Ballista. I think Emrakul's fine. I could see bringing Star of Extinction. I mean, they're going, they're going kind of, they're kind of going wide. Yeah. I'm not dead yet. You'll be dead soon. I'm coming back. Nah, you'll be dead. Mm, I guess we're fine like this. I would play first, yes. And this is trash. <sighs> Still not great, but we'll keep it. Uh, I guess we can go to Rootbound. Oh, uh, we can go to Violent here. Now we just wait. Now we wait. Why are you gonna make fun of me saying now we wait, you little Mitch? It just felt like I had to do it. How's your leg back doing? Uh, leg's doing fine. Acts a little painful, but nothing too bad. You want to go out and uh, do some squats? That no, don't think that's a good idea. I think you need to. I think you need to move those legs. Oh, I have to do it. Oh, I thought we were waiting for them. That's really awkward. Well, now I feel stupid. This is where you're like, what else is new? And I'm like, dang it. Oh, that was a good draw. I'm a fan. Ten do squats for my for bits, Mike. Like a real Twitch IRLer. <laughs> nope. Work for your biddies, Mike. Oh, that was a good draw too. I like all the draws. Oh, I'm gonna add a green instead, because I feel like that's probably more conducive to us being able to cast this card. I feel like if I did one squat, I would end up on the floor and never get back up again. Get on the floor. Michael B is going to do the dinosaur. Are they attacking with this wild, this stirring wildwood? Man, that's wild. I'll give you a wild wood. I don't think I think you're gonna give me this uh Marari's wake is what you're gonna do, my dude. Maybe. Put you on top, keep you in the hand. Play Marari's wake and everybody knows that it's a Marari's wake. Don't have Rex Age, that would be real sad. Mike, you need a life alert. Maybe. Mike's falling and he can't get up, guys. I'm not even going to look at the game right now. Hey, they have their own Marai's Wake. That's fine. We got Wickabild. I'm going to Wickabot. it. Are you ready to see me Wickabot? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And we need one land that comes into play tapped. Untapped. Ooh, we can put both of these back. Put on top. Put on top. 
I play this land and I put it on the... Let's go get out of Savannah. Oh, Savannah. So we can go one, two, three, four, five, six, Bane Slario. And one, two, three, four, Wicker by Elder. Give me a break. Break me off a piece of that Marari's awake. And now we're going to go game three, boys. Are you ready? They're done? Oh, I think they are a Dunzo McBunzo. What did they do? They chose green. Okay, that's not exciting. Mutual, you alive. <laughs> oh, good old Mutual. I have returned from the dead. Unfortunately. I hope they attack with this forest. I'll block. Ain't nothing gonna hold me down. These cards are not very good, yeah. Do I just keep Farseek so I can shuffle these other cards away? Yeah. We could go to 16 and then take f 4 and go to 12. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Oh, I don't need to do all that. Good lord. Mari's Wake is a hell of a drug. Let's get a hollowed fountain. Oh, big moochal. What do you say? Mooching along in a regular way. Hey, big Moochel, every day. Moochel's his name is his name. Great song. Uh, time to get rid of the snake. One, two, three, four, five. Really? Because if they have a land, they can go Hornet Queen. I thought it cost eight. No, it's only seven. I'm dumb. It's seven, right? It's four and three green. Sounds correct. So give him a little beastie boy. <sighs> I don't think I care much. I care much. I mean, we have Bane Slayer Angel. I mean, the bees can block it and kill it. The bees can block it. No, they can't. It's got first strike, Michael. Uh-huh. The bees, you say can or can't? Can block it. They have six bees. They block with all their bees. And then I beast within the, the biggest bee. And then they get wrecked. Oh, that's pretty good. And yeah. I gain a million life. Yeah, that's pretty good. You ever gained a million life before? It's okay. It's unbelievable. No, they're just going to exile it, so. That's sad. Why would you do this? We still gain six. I don't even care. I think you do. I mean, we have Sylvan Library. I'm, like, not concerned with anything they're doing right now, to be quite honest with you. And we have Banishing Light. We can just get rid of the Ajani. Okay, we're, we just won the game. We really won the game. Put this on top. Put on top! That's how the uh, Red Hot Chili Peppers sound. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 13, we can draw 10. Or we can play Banishing Light and just simply draw 7. I like that. I guess that's fine. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, that seems good. God, we're doing so good, aren't we? Yeah, we're really showing this O2 opponent. What's up? Are they O2? I don't know, actually. I don't know if that's Did how that works. Did you just assume that they were just a loser like us? Yeah, I did. Uh, we're currently playing Elise Q, her in 02, and then we went down to do 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 do. I think it said, ba someone said Battle of the 02 deck, so I assume that they, they're 01 right now.
Your mouth was made to suck my sphinx? I don't know if that's true, buddy. Thank God for that. After this, Michael and Muchel and us and me and Felipe are going to go to Texas Day, Brazil. You guys familiar with Can Texas? Can I get the meat sweats? I'm going to get the salad bar sweats, but... It's still gonna I wonder if I even do the salad bar. Or if that's like... Do you even do the... Sa- no, don't do the salad bar for you and the meat. How well, much extra it com- is it? No, the, no the, salad bar, the salad bar comes Oh, it comes with, with it? Oh, yeah. that's a good deal then. So I'm wondering if I do get any salad or if that's just make less room for meats, you know? I mean... But I do like some vegetables. Yeah, I wouldn't fault you for getting your vegetables. I want you to look at all this mana that's entering my mana pool right now. I want you to look at the seven life and seven cards I'm drawing. And I want to watch the concede button pop up. It didn't pop up, but we get to hard cast Emrakel here. Um, put on top! I like that they're still playing. That's admirable. This is cost 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10... And we want to play something else in order to... Oh, dang it, we did already. That's Oh, we can tap this. So one, two, three, four, five, six. We can go Lyra. And then cast Emrakul for ten. That's pretty ridiculous. And then we have a bunch of dudes that they can we can slam into our... This is everything I've wanted to do. It's all I ever wanted... They're just going to scoop here. The strategy is to bookend the meats with a small amount of veggies to help with digestion. Disclaimer, this hasn't actually helped at any point. <laughs> but that is a common theory. Like a lot, I've actually had friends in the past who would eat the salad after the meal because the salad aids with the digestion. But again, like who knows if that's a thing. I actually don't hate the run. But he hates you. That's messed up, man. Yeah, I know. I was talking to him the other day. I was like, it's messed up, man. Why would he do that? <gasps> what do we got? Wicker Ball? Like, so, so the ways we have to deal with are like, they're Mirari's Wake, and they're like, Jitte, we have Banishing Light, Beast Within, Cast Out, Wicker Ball Elder. That's a, that's a good amount. Oh, and Woodfall Primus, which I completely forget about all the time. Mike, make an unsalad. You go to the salad bar and stack your plate with eggs, mushrooms, bacon, anything else non-leaf that you like. See, yeah, we're trying to get... Uh, we're trying to get greens into the diet, not out of the diet, just to be clear. I don't like Emrakul. I do like Fumigate. And I also like Lightning Helix. I don't know. I, I, I guess three this... lands. I'd probably keep it. Yeah. Like, Emrakul's kind of a mulligan, but I don't think the six is going to be better. Oh, they went to they went to six. Oh, it's weird because I went to six, but like it still says seven. Yeah, elk tears. I had to go to the hospital for scurvy. That's it. I live on a pirate ship and I don't get enough vitamin C. Arg! My name is Michael and I'm a barnacle. Oh, that thing has got to go. You gotta go. So we're just going to get a mountain here, unfortunately. Well, I'm going to pump my little tree, Speaky. Oh, my God. This is so like you, Jeffy Ogue. Yeah, I'm not going to give you a chance to like play a four drop or something. I, I could assume you're going to equip an attack, but I ain't, I ain't about that life. Oh, the cobra! <laughs> I will pay two, and then we're going to kill the jitte as well. Yeah, I imagined that. Texas Day Brazil is the same salad bar as Fogo de Chao. I imagine they have very, very similar salad bars. You see that spoiler card that's a pig? Here we go. Here we go. Which one? The 6-6? Six, six? Yeah. 
Yeah, we just talked about that earlier, actually. Oh. I said the one thing I don't like about it is that it, it puts the creature into play attacking, so you can't put, like, an Emrakul into play and actually get the Annihilator trigger. Oh, that's true. You'd miss the trigger. Right, because the trigger occurs at the moment you declare it as an attacker. So right. if it's already into play attacking, you've bypassed that. Then again, you are attacking with the 15-15 flyer. So there's that. Yeah, you can only like yeah you can only get the fifteen fifteen flyer unfortunately. This must be a hard choice. Our opponents keep having natural order with no obvious choices. This is kind of weird. Do you just get like bio biogenic ooze? Prime. Well, that seems like why an was easy, that a hard choice? That seems like an easy choice. I don't know why that was so. Man, Prime of Titan's a messed up card. Yeah, it is a messed up card. Come on, Banishing Light. I mean, they only get eight lands out of four lands out of their deck. What what problem is? Okay. Oh boy. Sorry about your scurvy, man. I just don't like orange juice. Oh, they have one card in hand, though. That's pretty good. Hopefully, they'll play some stupid creature. That'd be that's freaking amazing. Play a stupid creature. You didn't play anything? Maybe we'll activate his Oh my god, there will be such gas, but they're not going to. What can we get here? Savannah? Yeah, let's go to Savannah. Or 15. Now they have three cards in hand? Are you kidding? That's pretty good. And we're one minute shy of Marshall Q. Remember that conversation about luck we were having, guys? We got the 03 trophy. Thank you guys so much for watching. Tim, either way, the deck still seems sweet, and uh, hopefully that was good enough for you. Thank you so much for the support, buddy. Really appreciate it, as always. And uh, if you guys have not done so, definitely check out manatraders.com. You can rent specific, not specific, but uh, physical and digital magic cards from manatraders.com. Uh, they have subscription services, and you get 20% off the first three months with the link in my description uh, and the promo code. Don't forget to use the promo code. You can also get, you can also get 15% off over at meundies.com slash franklapore, along with free shipping. So definitely check those out. And uh, thank you guys for watching. I will, uh, we'll see you next time. Have a good night, guys.